Nothing is normal about occupation. Nothing normal about apartheid, ethnic cleansing, siege, blockade, settler-only roads, bombing water wells, schools, mosques, and UN buildings. Nothing normal about putting a civilian population on a diet, paying non-indigenous foreigners to settle land that is already populated, rewriting the Nakba with each stolen childhood, trying to desensitize the puncture wounds and claw marks put into the bodies of Basim Abu Rahme and Rachel Corey. No, I don't wanna normalize with you. I don't wanna hug, have coffee, talk it out, break bread, sit around the campfire, eat s'mores, and gush about how we're all the same. I don't wanna share the stage, co-write a poem, submit to your anthology, talk about how art, instead of justice, can forge a better path. I don't wanna indulge your amnesia about a glorious past, have a therapy session on two sides with equal grievances. The only thing barren is your moral capacity, blooming a settler colonial state with appropriated culture. I will not fight for your privilege, nor will I seek to normalize it. Your dialogue group, it's a breeding ground for injustice. Just look at the board members and the ZOA sponsorship. Zionism is a real demographic threat, infecting the minds of millions with racism. They were hooded in the South, pushing darker nations into Bantu stands, jailing young men in H flocks in Northern Ireland. In case you missed the hint, I don't want to pretend all is okay or that bombs dropped on Gaza don't have the manufacturer, the pilot doesn't have a nationality, or Shimon Perez is any different than Avigdor Lieberman. It's not just the occupation, stupid. It's the right of return, equality for all Palestinians. It's a transformation from a racist, exclusivist, supremacist state to a nation for all of its citizens. You deserve nothing more than equality which means more than African refugees are provided in South Tel Aviv, you are the shining light on a settlement hill, reminding the world that racism often comes in nice packaging. We don't give the Sudan $3.1 billion a year in military aid, don't have preferential trade agreements with North Korea, don't call Iran a democracy, you're a proxy for empire, a 1950s ethnocracy and 21st century clothing, yes! You're singled out with aid, weapons, and you want vetoes in your favor. Did I hurt your feelings? Should we hug after the show? Do these words hurt more than bombs dropped on Gaza? White phosphorus eating the flesh of children? I am not the bad guy. You're defending the bad system. Your words and actions have consequences. You're either with oppression or you're against it. I didn't write history and didn't choose for you to stand on the wrong side of it. Your system of oppression it's coming to an end. And whether you recognize it or not yet, it'll be liberating for you too.